So I and I watched a lot of shows that were about middle school and high school, so I knew the concept of extra credit, except I'm in first grade. You're just learning about colors and maybe multiplication mm-hmm. tables, multiplication. which I knew before first grade. I was that kid in class. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm going to do extra credit. So I took a bunch of printer paper and sat at, on my parents' bed with an ironing board and just wrote everything that was in that science book in different color crayons for each planet. And then I gave it to Miss Donahue, the most patient teacher in the world. And she just wrote an A on it and gave it back to me. This thing was like 14 pages of just <laughs> random space facts. And I, and I look back on it and I'm like, man... That explains so much of my personality. <laughs> well, with this story about a questionable uh, investment of time, hello and welcome everybody to the Awkward Cast. For A and Mine, Keyframe, Wonder About Rammed and Dribble for the fifth season. Season five. Season five. We are back. It, we are still new, here. New, How is that? New, new, art, <laughs> new artwork over there. And finally, we... we for forever, forever, we had Art of the Week uh, featured, like, for 20 seconds at the end of this one and a half hour uploads on YouTube. Like, we st- when, did we, we, when did we start this? Was it already in the first season or only a little bit later? No, uh, no like, see, like season two. Okay, but since season two, we have been Art of the Week featured for a few seconds in the YouTube upload. And I was like, ah... <laughs> this cannot go on. Come on, guys. This, 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 people put effort and whatnot it, it in it. Worked, and... It worked out. It worked out that I made the new cast artwork more square orientated. Which, by the way, I'll talk about it during my week. Because oh. that's the one fucking event in my week. <laughs> is the journey of this. And specifically, the worst case of miscommunication I think me and Max have had in a while. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. When, when, when we were both the, the, basically... The shoe story... Oh, the shoe uh, story. Yeah, when but, we, we, we we had a stalemate and we both expected the other one to move next. But yeah, your story later. Uh, uh, but yeah, to, but to, yes, to uh, finish but yes, the sword. Two years yes. in the fucking waiting, we have Kathy Chan. Because also true. you guys will remember that we had DJ Spill on the cast a while ago. Good boy. Uh, 10 out of 10. Uh, <laughs> but the reason why we had DJ on the show was because originally we were supposed to have Kathy, and she was like, <laughs> fuck, there's shit going on. Can you, can, can my, can my boyfriend DJ do, replace me? And I'm like, sure. And two, and we didn't that. ask her to come on the show again for two years. Yeah, that's for what two years. future awkward guests, you know, if, if you rain check us once, Two years! That's, that's, that's how, how we fight back. But now that we finally do have you, please, to yeah. us, to everybody watching out there, do tell us, who are you, what do you do, and why should people care? Oh, okay. Um, well, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Kathy Chan. I do YouTube. I also do voice acting um, online. <laughs> um, I pretty much uh, sing a whole bunch of anime, video games, uh, Disney covers. Um, I'm right now trying to do an album that entails a whole bunch of Disney duets with me and DJ Smell that we really want to do in the future and hopefully you guys look forward to that. But I am here to talk with these beautiful people and hopefully everything will be good. <laughs> The dichotomy of man, me going like, aww, and, and the not accepting one. <laughs> Don't worry, Basically. he does that with everyone. <laughs> compliments are for if the weak, they sugar you up. Yes. No, the, yes. no I've, I've, I've known this guy for six years. And and if I if my compliments float in the air, he's basically slapping it down like spiking a damn volleyball. <laughs> but yeah, again, it's season five. How it did we is, do it? It is. But yes, Kathy. It's season five. We are in twenty twenty one. How well, has twenty twenty one been treating you? Has there been any life events or or fun adventures that you've had? in this first month that already feels like five years well a lot i will say has happened um i I will say i will say um (laughs) um i'm planning on moving i'm in the process of moving again 
um, hopefully in the same location. I, I live in uh, the floor, the Florida, <laughs> um, near Disney World. The Florida. Um, the Florida. <laughs> so I get to see Mickey Mouse mostly all the time. <laughs> Mickey Mouse uh. merchandise everywhere. It's, it's right in my face. <laughs> Um, so I'm kind of nice. moving a little bit away from the Disney scene and I'll, I'm still in Orlando, but away from 15 minutes from there. <laughs> um, you I, don't hear the fireworks go off every fucking night. Oh, honey, all the time. <laughs> I feel so bad for the people who live in Anaheim because at least Disney kind of drives off in the middle of a marsh. Yeah. There, mm-hmm. there is residential areas right by Disneyland, and they pro- and they have to hear a damn firework show at Disney songs every fucking day. I'm like, yeah. Oh. Part of me was like super no. happy about that at first, but then when I moved here, I was like, ah. Yeah. I, I can't that imagine must be that great it's... for a voiceover artist. Yeah, like... I, I, I can't imagine that it loses its literal magic very quickly. I mean. After a while, I feel like Disney has a lot of cool things that you can do. Like, I, I don't think you can ever get too tired of it. But I think when you live there often and when you're succumb to all of the merchandise that's in every store, is for, eh, especially when you go to your gr- local grocery store here and you just get yeah. slapped with a whole bunch of Mickey merchandise, it's like, oh, yeah, don't remind me that I live next to Disney. Thanks for that, though. <laughs> But, it, um, it's great to go into like a like a 7-Eleven and there's Disney stuff and then Minion stuff because a Universal Studio is always 20 minutes next to a Disney park. Oh my god, the Minion stuff is real too! <laughs> there's so much Minion stuff! Uh... <laughs> yep, yeah, and then with all the crazy stuff that's been going on with the... Um, with the masks and the whole like mm-hmm. um, all that stuff that's been going on, um, it, it's it's not fun, <laughs> especially here. <laughs> oh yeah, because you guys you guys actually have the park open over there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes, we have uh, Universal Studios and Disney World and Sea World that are right now open. Um, hmm. it, uh, we I think who was it? A few actually I can say that I can say that now. Last year, <laughs> last year I went. <laughs> just to check to see how it how it was they disney handles it very well universal studios on their hand i would not recommend <laughs> they, i i um, mean not like di- not like universal handles stuff good in the first place <laughs> yeah yeah so it it was a bit of uh, it was a bit of a change of a uh, scene compared to how before whole COVID happened when like, you know, mm-hmm. there was like packed people and stuff like that. Disney knows how to handle it well, um, in my opinion. Um, I know people are still cautious about it and I and I completely understand and I, I was like one time only, I wanna see how it is and then just like completely not go anymore. <laughs> until I, know, I mean at least happens. Disney World yeah, at least Disney World has the benefit that it's like one park is like 10 times bigger than Disneyland here in Anaheim. Because in yes. Anaheim, you will be a can of sardines, which it's like, I, I understand why that's cool. No, no, mm-hmm. no. It's it's like, I, I cannot imagine a Disneyland being open during the pandemic. Not like there was yeah. a high population when it was starting. Because mm-hmm. me and Max went there two days before it closed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, actually, it was, it was neat. Was, very, very, very we, uh, empty. So we could, we barely had any waiting times. Oh, that's right. I, there would be like nobody there. So you were, you guys pretty much had the whole. Oh, Knott's out. Berry was even Knott's Berry was even better and worse. We got through that whole park like three times over in a matter of like four hours, and then we were like, "You want to go back to the hotel? Yeah, you can only <laughs> ride the certain roller coasters a few times before you either get a migraine or you get bored, and nothing's yeah. worse than a bored migraine." Mm-hmm. I feel that uh, so hard. <laughs> but we wish you luck with your move, and we're glad that mm. you're staying safe. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so, um, Max, do you remember anything from the past months we've been on air? Please keep it quick. I, 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 I have so much energy today. It's, it's, a, fair, it's a fair point. I mean, uh, uh, okay, G- going through it, uh, uh, speed run, speed run. Um, yeah, I, so. I will be right back while you do a speed run. <laughs> Good luck with that. But yeah, uh, 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 Denim and I went... Oh, 
What is this? Why is there connection thing anyways um yeah uh, denim and i uh, went uh, uh, over to my uh, family over christmas so we had mm -hmm. some kind of stay safe christmas so a lot of the usual christmas activities like uh, taking the entire family like all my sisters in-laws uh, uh, nieces nephews uh, all the entire mm -hmm. horde uh, 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 to the circus <laughs> Not so good this year. So, uh, I mean, by the uh, uh, German, by the rules enforced by the German government, uh, you, you were not even... We could not even properly be all together for one Christmas uh, uh, lunch or dinner. Um, because big family. So what we did is, my sister lives right next to my parents. So half the family stayed uh, where we are for lunch with my parents, the other half with my sister, and then we came together in the garden wearing masks, free air, perfect circular, uh, uh, ventilation and st uh, stuff for the, uh, for the gift giving. So oh. we, we actually did have a little bit of gift exchange and, and whole family time before we then split again. Uh, the, the turkey that my dad uh, had made got then like chopped up and delivered over to the neighboring house so that everybody <laughs> could share in the same food. Um, but yeah, besides that, we stayed a little bit more than a week. I believe we went there on a Wednesday and returned on a Thursday because I love my family. I love my parents, but... Being locked in there with no room for activities for That's over a week. <laughs> <laughs> so we did not stay over New Year's. Um, instead, uh, what we uh, opted for was our uh, uh, repeating our uh, 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 ongoing tradition that we started last year of uh, having a puzzle stream over New Year's Eve. Oh, it's a Tuesday to a Wednesday. Sorry, Denim. Uh, uh, day's time in, in, in the last <laughs> years. They had no meaning. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, uh, we, we did a puzzle stream starting at like 10, 9, our German local time. And uh, uh, then we did a Happy New Year's for every New Year that happened around the globe uh, as long okay. as we stayed awake. Which is funny, by the way, before Central Europe, there is like a New Year's every half hour. Yeah. This is like 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 a, 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 <laughs> Iran, Iraq, and whatnot. They all have they, they have like half hour increments. They have time zones that are off by half an hour. And it was like, oh no, we need to get our drinks ready again. The next one is already happening. Um, <laughs> but we we stayed mostly sober, uh, uh, at least Denim and I, because we had the a tremendous task of a two thousand piece puzzle with uh, 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 horrendous design. Uh, Denim, can you throw me the, the lid of the puzzle to show? Um, <laughs> one, one, one she hears us with the delay. But yeah. Uh, uh, what point are we at? The New Year's stream. So this beautiful 2000 piece puzzle. <laughs> and everything is the same. We basically finished the, 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 the dude and the lady because they are... They have something significant going on with their color scheme but beyond that no chance the rest is all the same mashed up green and literally those two characters were all That's that we the managed dumbest idea to do a puzzle how how many pieces was in this puzzle 2000 2000 we oh, and in a, in an 8 hour stream over new years two people we only finished the two humans Humans completing a 2,000 piece. Wow. Yes, I'm still working on it. I'm still working on the puzzle. Today and yesterday I actually made progress. So uh, uh, my promise stands. I will have finished this puzzle before next New Year's. So we then can start a new one for the next New Year's stream. And we will not go with such an insanely unsatisfying design. Promised. Um, also, no Enigma, not quitters. We, 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 we are still working on it. Um, no, be, be, uh, beyond that, yeah, I guess mostly came after that normal life started with working, with... Um, we, we gave up yeah. on a couple shows during TV time. Oh, yeah, we did. What did we give up on? Uh, we gave up Big Mouth and we gave up... 
This is going to sound so yeah. bad. We gave up the new Animaniacs. It, it, from, oh! from the shows we watched, it was the weakest one. It cannot it cannot reach the water to... There our... were shorts in it that were good. It was just one of those yeah. things of... I feel like I it's one of it's the Saturday Night Live effect. You go back to watch certain shorts. You don't go back to a Saturday Night Live episode to watch the whole episode. Mm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, when you at but the I mean, same it's a nice time, nice looking show. That's true. But when you are watching Amphibia, uh, 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 Unbreakable Kimmy Smith, uh, what else do we have? We have more. Ducktales when it comes um, when back. It's, Owl yeah. House when it comes back. Against those shows, sorry, Animaniacs. Uh, can't 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 uh, hold them the water anymore. Reach them the water anymore. Uh, oh. oh oh oh! The other oh. thing is that I started introdu- I started introducing Max to Lupin stuff. Yeah, it's okay. Ooh. What did you expect? Well, welcome to the last episode of the Oscars <laughs> cast. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but yeah, I, I returned pretty much to day to day business already, so um Yeah, I believe I picked on the highlights, so keyframe. <laughs> so I've existed. I'm here. Hello. Uh I actually took a fucking vacation, which is where aka I just did not go on Twitter. I just didn't do anything. I kinda just <laughs> Light on da my do welly. <laughs> You treated yourself. Oh, it's, Star- it's Stardew Valley. <laughs> I got into Stardew Valley. I realized why I was so scared to start Stardew Valley because um, I have an addictive personality. This game is uh, addictive. Oh, no. <laughs> but apparently I'm surprising people with what, with what I do because uh, I have not earned much money in the game because I'm spe- usually spending my time fishing or buying presents for people in the game. <laughs> Which, how is that different than real life? Yeah, uh, I feel like if I went to Stardew Valley, I think I would also be very addictive. I know myself too well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I wake up each morning Stardew, pour water into the bowl for my dog. Obviously. And that call him a good boy. And then, Don't want and then go to... Yeah, and then go fishing and mining and giving presents to the to some of the people I like, which my two goals are Harvey and Maru. <laughs> Maru is such Maru, a Maru, Maru is fine. Your... Maru is fine, but Harvey is like mm, no what? worst what? character in the entire game. It's not. <laughs> Objectively, Shane is the worst character in the entire game. You would think that. But later on, it's revealed he he has a heart of gold. Harvey is and stays boring. Uh, Excuse me, he wants to be a pilot, but he's afraid of heights. And then he conquers his his fears because he likes you. Does he? That's not boring. Does he? Yes. Yes, that's his story. Why do you think he has like the... yeah, I know that he's a dreamer, but I didn't know that he actually went through with it. <laughs> have I not finished his yeah. pass yet? Huh. I might not have That's finished something. his story pass yet because... No, you didn't! In that case. <laughs> but yes, uh, I played Stardew Valley and I actually uh, started making content. Uh, I, I finished an entire script and I'm editing the video right now. And it's Ooh. talking about the major released short films in 2020 i make that distinction that it's something that got onto a streaming service or something because there's 93 fucking short films on the oscar short list and i don't and i don't want to release this video in 2022 <laughs> so you know you got the spark shorts which were loop um out and burrow those. and then and then you have uh, like the Netflix shorts, which are Sitara, Follow Your Dreams, uh, If Anything Happens, I Love You, and uh, Canvas. Mm-hmm. Let me just say, I, oh, and Playdate with Destiny, that Simpsons short that was before Onward. I keep forgetting that's there because it's such an <laughs> odd one out with everything else. Let me just say, it is. it's a it's a mood whiplash because I do these in chronological order of when they were released. And the first one is Lou, which is about a kid uh, a, nor- a chatty kid and a non-verbal autistic girl doing a canoe ride together. Yes. Great short. Mm-hmm. And, and handled the, that, that kind of subject matter really well. 
Play date with Destiny, that. the Simpsons short. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny. If you like the Simpsons movie, you'll like it. It's it's nice, but it's still just like, huh, that's a mood whiplash. <laughs> and then the next short is about child marriage in Pakistan. And I'm like, <laughs> what <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Val well, I was need a about neck brace. Child. Val was about <laughs> eating your child, but it was also about a lot of deeper stuff. But that's what my yeah, mom true. thinks it is. And, <laughs> and I was yeah, like, I don't but know then the you reason. know, it stays consistent because then you got out, which is about like a guy who's scared to come out to his parents, and so he's mm -hmm. and he switches bodies with his dog, and it's a cute short. It's very good. I love that one. Then you. Then you get if anything happens, I love you, which is about two grieving parents because oh, their kid yeah. got killed in a school shooting. Shooting, oh, yeah. yeah. I remember seeing which that is, one. That short made me cry. Like that one, like full, like canvas made me tear up. Like that one gets me mm -hmm. misty eyed. That one just fucking struck a nerve with me because real talk, it also made me kind of sit and think of, wow, I never lived in a world where school shootings was a wasn't a prevalent thing, mm -hmm. because you know Columbine started before I was born, and then you know you had Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook, and Stone Douglas, which yes. by the way, the title of the short is based off text messages that the victims sent to their parents. Yes! Oh my God! <laughs> The way and then, it yeah, builded then, itself up was so sad. Oh, it's such me. a beautiful short. It is. And mm -hmm. then you got, uh, and I'm only doing this mini medias because I had nothing else happen in my week that was of note. Um, I've been enjoying not existing. Let me just say, uh, I get it. <laughs> but sometimes and then there was Canvas, which was about a grieving grandfather, and you know, get and it, it's a beautiful little short. And then you got Burrow which was the short that was supposed to come in the theaters before Soul, but, mm -hmm. you know, Soul didn't happen. Yeah. Uh, and it's such a cute short about, like, a rabbit who's trying to build a whole, uh, their own burrow home, and this is such a socially anxiety-filled rabbit because he keeps, cra yeah. she or he keeps crashing into other burrowed creatures' homes, and it's so cute. And the person who written and directed it worked for We Bear Bears on Cartoon Network, and you can really tell because the art style fits that. And it's like, it feels like a Fantasia, I put, I say this in my video, it feels like a Fantasia, Fantasia short made in the internet age because mm -hmm. it doesn't have dialogue and it's set to a classical music, I think like Mozart's oboe concierto. It fits mm -hmm. kind of like the... Um, the ballet with the hippo and the crocodile. Ah, Fantasia. And, uh, the original Fantasia. Because yeah. people just think of Night on Bald Mountain and stuff. No, Fantasia mm -hmm. did have its share of silly shorts. Oh, yeah. Yes, I, I also equate it to, like, Rhapsody in Blue from Fantasia 2000 that was made by uh, <gasps> Eric Goldberg, who animated the genie in Aladdin. Yes. Which, by the way, people just watch the Fantasia movies. They're, they're on Disney+. Plus. Hmm. They're not you Philistines. boring, I swear. I, they're not Fantasia boring, 2000 may have more shorts that fit the palettes of the current generation mm -hmm. because it was the shorts that, um, that were made during a time of great innovation in the animation yes. industry because it had CGI shorts and CGI of acting with, um, with 2D. And, the, mm -hmm. and that fucking, like, uh, forest goddess short that they do at the end of uh, Firebird oh, Symphony or whatever is one iconic. of the most beautiful things of all time. Iconic. Iconic. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so all, I talk about all these shorts and I feel like either people will love this video or hate this video because I'm so positive in the video and it mm -hmm. seems like everyone wants, wants accentuating the negative. And I'm tired of that. I want my channel to talk about things I like. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. it's like, it's like, you don't have to hate everything, <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's, it, and each one has such a unique, uh, special thing about them. A lot of them are the debuts of like animators that worked behind the scenes on your favorite movies, hmm. finally sitting down and making their own thing, which is something I love about the medium of sh the genre of short films is that. It, it shows that you don't need to fluff up your story to feature length. You get to tackle stuff that feature films are too afraid to tackle. And you can just tell your own story. 
and I really, really love that. But yeah, enough of me gushing. The other thing that happened was uh, yesterday I did my first uh, series of streams that I plan to do each month called Art Jam, where Ooh. I give people a topic, and uh, during the stream I'm drawing a piece. I'm going to have my co-host is my friend Lauren, the Abbey Roadie, and we're planning on getting other artists to come in and talk and jam and all that stuff. And the audience draws along with the theme, and I showcase people's art that they do during the stream. And then one random person that submits their artwork either wins like a, an Amazon gift card that they can do what they want, or they uh, can get a, a set of art supplies curated by me in any medium they choose. So if you want to get into painting, want to get into marker drawings, all that stuff, because I work in every medium. I know what's good and it can be a great way because, you know, some people don't have the fiscal opportunity to get good supplies. Yeah. So... It was I nice, and the theme was Earth Signs, and I, uh, I because of that, I did a Capricorn thing where I made, like, this sea goat goddess. I'm still not done mm. with it, because it's me, uh, but it, I na Sean named her Vanellope, and I love her. So uh, pretty. And then Lauren drew Ariel as a sea goat, and that's the fucking funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, that um, one, yes. Did you retweet it by any yes, chance? That, I did retweet it. Wait, oh, I want to see that. Because I'm on your... Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Just look up the Abbey Rody. It's one of her newest posts. Yeah, that or... Eh, eh, eh. But yeah, also, there it is. Look at the there beauty. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> Chris was not happy. <laughs> but uh, it's such a good... It's such a good sh short. But um, yeah, I plan to do this every month. Because I feel like it's a great way to encourage creativity and i also i believe that if you want to do something you just start doing it you don't wait until you get good because you're not going to get good unless you start you suck mm -hmm. and that's okay yeah and i i want to encourage that so people of all skill levels so you could be like a newbie drawing on like lined paper or you could be lauren and it doesn't matter because you're just creating something and vibing with other people creating. And I think that's a, a good message. And it's a nice thing right now when the world is still very much upside down. So yes, I plan to indeed. do that again in the coming months. So stay, stay tuned. But yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was my life. <laughs> it is a beautiful life. That was... I, look forward, I look forward to the short. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a fun video. I hope to get it out, if not the end of this month, the beginning of next month. Yay! I'm excited! Yeah. Content! <laughs> <laughs> but yes, now we move. Speaking of media, media. mediums, media. Media. So, uh, Kathy, you wanted to talk about Remy the Ratatouille, <laughs> the rat of all her dreams. Of my dreams. <laughs> God, um, I love yeah. that musical. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know that DJ is definitely going to kill me for wanting to mm -hmm. talk about this, but I feel like I annoy him enough with uh, watching Ratatouille all the time. Um, it's the <laughs> it's the one movie um, out of all Pixar, well, mostly Pixar movies that I mostly um, relate to a whole lot. Like, it's just that mm -hmm. one movie me as an artist it's like pretty much the one movie that i go to that whenever i feel sad whenever i feel unmotivated anything like that i i watch it and then i listen to the quote at the very end and then all of a sudden i get super happy and i'm like i'm ready to go and i'm ready to do anything um yeah but i know that remy the ratatouille <laughs> Also made it the rat of all our dreams. Made it through TikTok, and I was very surprised by that. Um, I was very late to the scene, and if I knew that was happening, I totally would have made a freaking song about it. <laughs> you know what's actually a, a, a very meta genius thing about Red, mm -hmm. Ratatouille getting a musical by TikTok people? Is the whole message of Ratatouille is... Anyone can cook, anyone can anyone create can and do yes. something. And it's just these silly TikTok people all coming together to create something. It's like mm -hmm. galaxy that's, brain. <laughs> that's what I love about this. I love the freaking musical that they made. It's literally the whole message that Ratatouille made. Like, 
it's not just people who can cook. It's just every artist out there who can sing, who mm-hmm. can draw, anybody. Like, it's it's for them, too. And I really inspire to be a rat. <laughs> I know that a lot of people would have an argument of what Brad Bird's best movie is. And usually those two contestants are Incredibles and Iron mm-hmm. Giant. Mm-hmm. I'm coming in with the, with the write-in vote saying fucking Ratatouille is his best movie. Yes. I mean, I you just, would yes. it's... be in good company with Shafrilla, who uh, declared Ratatouille exactly. the magnum opus of all of Pixar. Yes. I, uh, but it, it really is, and it's such a... It's such an animation studio movie. It is an animator's movie. The where, fact because... that they... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> we talk over each other all the time. It's our shtick. <laughs> no, okay. go ahead. Um, the fact that they literally went to Paris to do research, the fact that they looked at all of the... The fact that they were around food, for example, that's that's like a whole win for me. <laughs> they mm-hmm. ate the food. They looked at the food. They took pictures of the food. They took pictures of Paris. Um, they pretty much did their research, and that's something that I really love about an animation studio who really knows, mm-hmm. takes the time to really, like, enjoy what they're making and really put their research into it. And the freaking digital, digital, like, the fact that it was all digitally created and the food looks like it's real, it makes me want to eat it all the time whenever I see it on the screen. <laughs> Here's the question. What is the better animated food? Ghibli food? Or Ratatouille the movie. Mm. Both of them are so... Uh, I want to eat that Ratatouille so much. But they're, bo- they're both so... But My favorite, you, like... You, 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 you are, uh, yeah. This is a, a wrong dichotomy you're offering the audience there between Ghibli food and uh, Ratatouille <laughs> food on screen because you are forgetting that there is also still um, Food Wars. Oh, okay. Yes. That's <laughs> fair. That's also, fair. If we're, if we're really going to that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, it but literally he... stro- uh, drops, uh, rips your clothes off. It's so good. Yeah, mm-hmm. but like, I love the uh, the fun fact that apparently the character models of the humans don't have toes in their character models because they needed to yeah. make the models for cheap. But they went to the details of animating like stains on their aprons and burns on them because well Mm -hmm. you're cooking around open flames and it's like give disney and pixar well give disney all the shit that you want as a business but when their movie making team cares about the subject matter that they do the the research and development team at disney and pixar deserves every bit of praise you can muster Mm -hmm. mustard I'll be real, when I um, saw the movie Ratatouille the first time when I was a kid, and when I saw them making the Ratatouille, my 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 stupid self thought that um, Ratatouille was a whole bunch of um, little pepperonis, and that they were Me all- Me too! Pe- <laughs> I, when, when I had my friend who was actually, he's um, studying to be a chef, he told me mm-hmm. to my face, Cabby, that's not- pepperonis those are actually just a whole bunch of tomatoes and a whole bunch of other things that they put in there it's a peasant dish it's, but... a, peasant, it's a peasant dish for a reason and, and i was like oh <laughs> that's embarrassing now i'm in now i'm insulted well i mean i, I mean it's a it's a relief because when yeah. it, I thought it was pepperonis, and I'm like, excuse me, are you saying pepperonis are a peasant dish? How fucking dare you? I mean, he depending on where. I mean, this guy was amazed by pepperoni, and I was like, wow, pepperoni. And then I started putting Now I will feel that pizza. every time I have pizza. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Uh, but Ratatouille thought. is so fucking good. And you know what's also good? The the uh, learning about the rat short that they have mm-hmm. with it. Yeah. Uh, your, love... your friend the rat. It's your such a cute the short. Mm-hmm. They learned about the black uh, plague and how it wasn't just spread and all that stuff. And it was I the recommend flea. that one. It was the flea. Yeah. You actually see Wally in it before Wally was even made. Because he's the one really? driving the little Mars rover. Yeah. It, uh. it was like, huh. That's interesting. Another thing, I think, um, I think in the Reddit 2 movie, I think there is a, a cameo from The Incredibles. It's going by odds. Yes, I the mime, the mime villains yeah. in the background. Ooh. He's in that. He's in that too. And then um, I think it was who was it? When I was like reading stuff back in my old days, I know 
I really wanted to recreate the soup, and I, and I did, um, for the mm-hmm. Ratatouille movie. The soup, the first soup they make, it's potato leek soup. Mm-hmm. And Ooh, it's, that sounds good. And it's so good. Um, whenever I think of leek, I think of Vocaloid, and <laughs> I'm like, yep, that's the two combos, potatoes and leeks, I'm down for that. I, and, I just want to know what the fuck was that sauce that Remy made to put on top of that fucking terrible dish that well the when gusto made it, ah. that oh recipe that was supposed to be so i'm like what the fuck did you put on it that made that sounding recipe sound good because I, that thing must be food wars level of good i'm still trying to figure but, out what that is i've i've like researched it everything i'm like i've asked a bunch of my friends who were chefs they think it's like some sort of a like it's like weird but it must i'm not be a sure cream what the sauce, sauce. is it must be. It must be sauce. a cream sauce because it was white, so it probably mm-hmm. had a cream base. But it's yes. still like, what are you? <laughs> I already have to deal with the fact that I hear Bojack Horseman doing a fake French accent in this movie. I don't yeah. need to think really? about this. Who is too. Bojack? Yeah, Will what? Arnett is the one where it was like, oh, he served time, but for what? Oh, no the gangster. Oh, the the the, the I killed a man with the... this phone. That's yeah. Will Arnett. Oh. Are you serious? Yeah, and that? and. So yeah, Batman is in the, the movie um, too. Yep, <laughs> Lego Batman is in the movie. Uh, though, what's so cute is that the um, the voice of Linguini is actually just an animator that worked at Pixar. Huh. Uh, and uh, so was Remy's brother. Remy's brother is also like one of the main like animator directors at Pixar, and it's I love. That's why I love Pixar. So many of their roles is just played by people who work on yeah, the movie. Yeah, people who just work on the movie. Yeah. I mean, Edna huh. is played by Brad Bird himself. Yeah, I that, that, that I, I heard about, yeah. Which I, I, I love, because apparently it was just like, they were using his voice for scratch audio in the storyboard, and they were like, we... <laughs> we want to keep it? <laughs> it was a very we can't good replace decision. this. It was uh, a very good decision. <laughs> but yeah. No if capes. you haven't watched Ratatouille, what rock are you living under? Yes. I definitely it recommend must've... it for people who are completely, like, losing motivation in what they do. Um, I feel like it's one of those movies that just picks you back up, honestly. And it's just a really good animation, really good message, and really good characters that you will just fall in love with if you haven't seen it. And a lot of characters it. are played by people who are dead now. But to, to, to come back to the musical, how do you actually... So it, because it says buy tickets, how does it actually oh, work? Oh yeah. Okay. So this clips that you're seeing, uh, TikTok has a duet function. So mm-hmm. if you want to do a, if you want to contribute to a TikTok, that you have an original one, and right next to it is yours. So mm-hmm. you can basically just you come up with the harmonies and stuff, and just do it in time with the original TikTok. Yep. So people probably made TikToks duetted to them by knowing which ones to duet and then curate them together. Mm-hmm. But, and still, how do you experience the musical? They have it all in one place and people have recorded, like, have it fully recorded or they have the TikToks go in time with things. So oh, it's kind of like... actual musical, so, though. So, so, but yeah, do they're you... planning that when things open up to make a stage show. Uh, but do yeah. you actually buy tickets? Or is this just fake to have the... Uh, well, the resemble... world premiere, I think, had a paid thing. But ah. now you can just watch uh-huh. it. Um, mm-hmm. And you can buy the album to support it because that money's probably going to go to the stage show. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of like um, when uh, a person was making a Jenna Marbles musical. It was just yes. a bunch of covers and performances, and then they did it on stage at the college the guy worked for. So mm-hmm. it's one of those things where this is just, this is the internet. You can make a musical with random people all over the world with the and not even know that you can get yeah. a stage show at some point. Mm-hmm. Anyone can create. Anyone can cook. Anybody can create, and nobody can tell me otherwise. <laughs> Positive vibes in this first episode. Yes. Uh, don't expect it for the other ones. <laughs> exactly. uh, but I think we've talked enough about Ratatouille. Max, what's your yes. media? What's my media, indeed? So, uh, 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 thanks to uh, uh, skipping over last week, I was able to finish a new show on Netflix about... Oh, this boy. yeah about this good neat boy here uh, uh, no not this one also not this one this one again uh, which 
has a Japanese name that vaguely translates to Alice. And the show is called Alice in Borderland because those three dudes suddenly, while hiding in a bathroom from law agents, get teleported to a world where nobody is left. To an identical oh. copy of the world in which they then have to play games. Like deadly games. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> this is terrifying. That like a yeah, fucking Black games. Mirror episode. But it's an yeah, entire like show. And uh, uh, yeah, the, sh the games are all more or less deadly. And you need to have a visa to stay alive long enough. And if you don't, then a laser comes from the sky and you uh, shoots through your head. So you need to play or else... You die anyways. And what is this the show called like again? Alice in yeah, Borderland. It it's on Netflix. It has a pretty good English dub. Um, mm -hmm. And well, there is Alice. It's 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 kind of it's, it's hard. I, I still don't know if it's sci-fi or if it's fantasy. It seems to be more sci-fi, but I can still not say for sure. Even after finishing the first uh, season. I mean, if a laser is coming from the sky, it feels more sci-fi. But then again, how did they get over <laughs> there? Teleporters or sci well, sci well, science fiction can still be has yeah. supernatural elements. Was in that it. a tiger? Yes. Was that a tiger? Yes, they they even have control somehow over wild animals in this borderland because there <laughs> seems to be some kind of game masters but yeah you see buildings explode places get flooded uh, i'm not sure if we get any laser beams from uh, above yeah there are the laser beams <laughs> lovely but yeah um and this show doesn't pull any punches so this is also a thing like i'm not saying what happens but stuff happens there we, when we were watching it, we were like, holy shit, they just Game of Thrones does. <laughs> um, not saying anything more, I, pro I probably already said too much. But yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, 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 I'm not sure if it's R-rated. It, 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 it's probably not too gory because uh, uh, Denim is not a fan of gore and uh, we still manage to watch it all the way. Uh, so okay. it's actually, it has this has this kind of mystery like how did all those people get to according to the title which is called the borderland um <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nothing about the last not about late game of thrones about the actual story and uh there's yeah. no starbuck cups <laughs> hiding on a set <laughs> I, I i would not uh, maybe there maybe there since it actually takes place, uh, place in modern tokyo except that everybody's gone except for those people who are there to play games and and uh potentially uh, uh die because lasers from the sky and what if it's all just a simulation man what I, if they're just sword art online i i, I mean I, I i i kept i kept guessing about it all the time that hey maybe the people that die actually just leave the game and are back outside but then there are other elements that hint more and more towards no no they are really in a different place we, we, we still don't know how so um you're all there they all wake up and turn out they were just sleeping in the bathroom the whole time who, who, yeah. who knows really from after having a really bad trip. <laughs> exactly. Maybe. maybe. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, we. Put I want it to be the most yeah. unsatisfying <laughs> ending ever. Yeah. Uh, potentially, the readers of the manga know more because it's based on one. Uh, but yeah, also. Oh, is it really? Yes. So, e to, to to top it all off, this is a, a really good live action adaptation of a manga of all things. Because those oh. don't have the best history, do they? Yeah. That's Full Metal Alchemist, about. Death Note. Uh, what other beautiful Where adaptations do we have? <laughs> no, but yeah. We need to just. Oh, we sorry. But yeah, I would say really good show. Uh, um mature audience so i would uh, uh give this as don't a little bit of a red flag like, exactly don't let the kiddies watch it but it doesn't seem to be too gruesome because uh well we were able to watch it and uh yeah it's uh, and and when season one ended we were like shit now we really want to know see what's it what, what we now we need to see season two wait, wait give it to us fast <laughs> so right now there's only one season yes and okay. <laughs> but but it yeah uh, 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 this is strong with very clear progress because um, uh, 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 at some point they start collecting the cards and there are only that many cards you can collect like like play cards like the 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 four um, the four uh, 
suits and then from seven to K no it actually starts all the way ace to ten and then the the the, the face cards so uh, they are about collecting the cards. So there is a limited amount of cards to collect. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Do you know what they need to adapt for Netflix if they're going to do these live action Netflix things? What? They should adapt the uh, the Death Note musical that was supposed to go on mm. Broadway. <laughs> but they yeah. but but it never went to Broadway. But the pe but the Japanese investors loved it, so it's been a running show in Japan. Huh. We have the English songs, so it's like, why don't we just make that? That could be awesome. You know what? People would have lower expectations. You know what to do, it's key a frame. Musical. You know what to do, keyframe. Get on TikTok. We'll TikTok do it, yeah. <laughs> do it yeah. yourself. So, so we have, we have, okay, we have the two of you already here in the lead role. Two of you is L. Who of you is Kira? <gasps> I love this idea. I actually love this idea. <laughs> Sorry, Kathy, <laughs> you are now a uh, 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 part How of it. How do you keep getting Kathy wrong? K Kathy, <laughs> what what did I say this Kathy. time? Kathy. Kathy. You said Kathy. Kath I Kathy. Kathy. <laughs> Uh, but okay, my media. Oh yeah, please, please do Lord. share. <laughs> yes. You, yeah. I know um, you told okay. you told before. You said it before, but I missed it somehow. Yes. So here's <laughs> the thing. This was giving a crazy ex girlfriend a second chance because I watched a few episodes and I wasn't really vibing with it. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm a believer in second chances because a lot of people were like, "It gets so good. It's it, you would really like it." It uh, and I was like. And then I watched some songs because Rachel Bloom, the main person on the show, uploaded all the song segments to her YouTube channel. I'm like, okay, I am liking some of these later songs. Let's give it a watch. I was wrong. Chrissy Bucola was wrong. This show is so good. It is about this, uh, it is about this girl, Rebecca, who, uh... Works at a law firm in New York, and she she's not happy, and she meets her old, like, summer camp flame, and then follows him to his town in West Covina, California, to try to get back with him. Which is kind of, um, not something a stable person does. And it's a, it goes along her life and really... You think that the plot's just going to be about her trying to get Josh, which is his name. Mm -hmm. But really, it becomes this big introspection about her mental health. And her oh. getting diagnosed with, with, with um, borderline personality disorder. And her trying to get through a lot of deep-seated issues that she's internalized. And it's still mm -hmm. a funny show, but it's her just trying to find self-happiness in a way that a relationship would not provide. And I was just like, holy shit, this feels so real. I don't have borderline personality disorder. I have bipolar disorder. A lot of people mm -hmm. confuse the two for each other, um, mm -hmm. which is not right. But yeah. how she deals with getting diagnosed and medicated and therapy and all this stuff, it's they handle it so fucking well hmm. and the songs are great rachel bloom is a fantastic singer um if you if you've seen the pony show she was the kieran that that was uh the guest star on that show hmm. which has arguably one of the best songs of the later show um but she but it's all the characters are great. The voice of Hans is a main character on the show, and I did not notice that until way what? later. Which, by the way, he has one of the... His character's name is, like, Greg. But his fucking actor's name is Santino Fontana. You're not allowed to have that cool of a name, you princess bride-sounding motherfucker. <laughs> Please, come on our podcast. But it's such a, it's such a good show. Um, the, the strongest aspect is the music, obviously, but there's just a lot to respect about it. Like, for one, they have a regular looking woman as the main character and she gets with a lot of guys. Rachel yeah. Bloom is not a, what people would call Hollywood 
gorgeous or anything. Mm -hmm. A lot of the characters have just varying body types, which I know sounds like a shallow thing to give brownie points for, but with how little that's that's presented, and it's, it means it's a, a cool lot. thing. They actually have great representation for a, a bisexual character. They have the main target of a love interest be a be an Asian person, which when you think about it, that doesn't happen often in a live action uh, show. Mm -hmm. And it's not like heavily exaggerated or he's a Chinese immigrant or something. He's mm -hmm. a, a, which it's kind of like, the show does make you think of a lot of discussion points on casting and stuff in uh, Western Western media, and it's like, huh. Now I feel bad. <laughs> I wish well, I could change this. Which I guess changing it is watching the show and showing support for it. The show has ended. It had a it had a planned ending, so there is a planned finale. You don't have to worry about them uh, losting it or whatever. Or uh, fire flying it. There's four. And where There's is it again? Seasons. It's is it also Netflix? Uh, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Because it I... originally was a CW show, and it actually has the record for being the show CW supported the most, even though its viewership uh, when it was on a network was terrible. The huh. viewer people were not viewing it, but CW really liked the show and kept giving it seasons, which is amazing. That is that, rare. <laughs> but. I, I will say, as the red flags for the content warnings for this mm -hmm. show, it does discuss, like, parental neglect. It, it, it's a big focus, especially in the later seasons, is mental illness. Uh, there is a suicide attempt in the show. Ooh. Uh, I'm not going to say when or where or even who, but it does happen. Did they and handle it's kind it kind well? of like... They did like, handle it fantastic. They didn't okay. 13 reasons why it, let me, you know. Oh, yeah, don't get, yeah, I, I've seen that <laughs> <Yeah>. thing. <That's... laughs> but it's, it's, so there is, like, topics that are, go into real talk. So if mm -hmm. you, but it is still a funny comedy show. There's a lot of funny moments. Its main focus is comedy. Also, if you don't like a little bit of crude humor, sometimes they do a little below the belt comedy. Not offensive as in, stereotypes or any of that shit more like you know yeah. crude humor but it's uh like big mouth so, you know yeah i like big mouth but <laughs> <laughs> big mouth <laughs> but like it's it's one of those things where it has a very kimmy schmidt energy mm. off the characters are everyone is is off kilter everyone's a fuck up in their own way like it's one of those things and I really recommend this show to people, especially if you... Oh, yeah, the other content warning. If you don't like musicals, don't watch the show. <laughs> I, I, don't, I think that music. goes without saying. I've never seen this show, but I know it for its music. I know the Let's Generalize About Men and the, um, the, the one that is going all the time on TikTok. It's the... Um, I have friends. I definitely have friends. <laughs> oh, that one's a good... I, I love that one. Um, <laughs> my favorite song is... We tap that ass all over this house. It's such a good fucking song. It's mm -hmm. so bad, too. <laughs> but um, <laughs> also the thing is, uh, the, they explain this in the first episode. Um, all the musical numbers is how Rebecca processes situations. So none mm -hmm. of the musical numbers are actually happening in real life. So, all yeah. so it actually explains the musical format, huh. which is very nice. But it's a very smart show. I recommend people watch it. It's on Netflix. And, you know, so I think, it, I mean, I know it's on Netflix in my country. So uh, I'm not saying, uh, like, get a VPN, but I'm saying get a VPN if you want to watch it. <laughs> but yeah, Do that's it. my media. Crazy. Yep, it's on German Netflix as well. Yay! You, you, guys should for, you guys should be happy that I made my first media of this year an actual show. I found plenty of shit posty uh, channels that I could have talked about instead. Uh, I, I could have I... done another Aaron drinks water. I found not one, not two, but ten different channels that are about people drinking water. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, your mental health aside, you are never allowed to do have a vacation again. If this is the outcome. 
Oh, I mean, why are you forcing me to take a, to not take a vacation? Because, again? because you, you use it. One. Yes, you use it to find shit post channels on YouTube. <laughs> you picked this. I, I, you encouraged me to take a vacation. <laughs> yes, but I didn't expect that it was would end up in such horrible, horrible developments. Well, I'm sorry, but it's developed. It's no. not going away, and you're stuck with me. <laughs> and apparently we're vacations as well. Happy six years. Yay. But, um, yeah. But, oh, now it's question time. But, yeah, be, 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 before question, as part of the new format, call out to the art of the week. This week by uh, 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 Ambrose, our, our still, yeah, he is still in the lead for still most, most appearing the, guest. Most appearing guest. <laughs> Not best <laughs> guess. I this. And that is also true. That is a very winterly commission for the winter it was, season. It was it was Max's Christmas present. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, art of the week. And if you want to see your art up there, we are whores. We we definitely put them up there if you send them to us at some point. Yes. Uh, uh, but we're going to. I'm not going to do a lot of questions because. Yes. Energy is waning. F Chris fair is enough. very tired. Fair enough. We <laughs> don't have too many on Twitter, at least. All right. Well, yeah. how many? Uh, give, us, I, give us one on Twitter. Okay. I have one on Twitter from uh, Sitfinite, Sitfinite uh, asking, does Katie Chan like the Owl House? And I dare to say, do we all like the Owl uh, Widen it out to us all. But first, Katie, do you like the... Kathy, do you like Kathy. the... Kathy! Kathy! <laughs> no, I love Kathy. all the way Kathy! Kathy! <laughs> it's fine. I used to have someone call me Katie for seven years. And I've never, ever felt... I've, I've never, ever, ever was like, it's Kathy. <laughs> yo, K yo, KC, do you like the... K K Ch Kathy Chan, KC. <laughs> so, KC, do you like the Owl House? <laughs> episodes of the owl house which was very sorry sad. sorry we I, need to end the show early i just got an urgent <laughs> message that our guest just uh, has been committed of uh, has been uh, not committed but but a crime confessed to a crime indicted <laughs> a horrible crime that i'm willing to be executed for um the thing is is that with me which show which shows um i watched three episodes and if I like it, I'll continue. But in this certain case, it was a little different. Me and DJ, we were looking up Amphibia, and we were doing Owl House, and we were watching them both at the same time, which is a horrible mistake. <laughs> because when we keep up with shows, um, we tend to prefer one over the other. And mm -hmm. the thing is, is that with me, I was Owl House. With him, it was Amphibia. Um, oh, if you would have yes. to, if you would ask me to choose between the two, whew. Damn. Owl House. Owl House. It, it, it could be. Uh... I'm sorry. Luce is just me personified I, uh, as an animated character, except she is Tanner and a lot more funny. But she is me. I, I love it because Hispanic, um, main character, I'm Hispanic, and it's something that I really freaking admire. Something that I love when nowadays people are including characters that are of different cultures, She's so different cute. backgrounds. I love it. Yeah. I, I love her. I love when she starts speaking Filipino. I think she's Filipino. And? Yes. Or uh, Luce. Luce. Luce is Filipino? Yes. I think, I think, is it the amphibia? And, 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 and is some uh, Asian. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, hold on. Wasn't I Luce will now Hispa look this up. Wasn't Luce, uh, Luce Hispanic? I think so. I know. Uh, Anne, okay. Uh, uh, Voice of Reason is Dominican. here. She's Dominican. Yeah, Voice of Reason is here and says uh, Anne is Thai. Yeah, and uh, yes. Odie says Luz is Dominican. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oops, I mixed up my tan. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I know that um, I liked it a lot because, um, well, how it first eyed me was the name, and her name is the same as my mom's name. Mm. Um. So my mom, when she, when we watched an episode together, um, I feel bad because I really want to see more. But I showed my mom the first episode. I'm like, look, mom, she's Hispanic and it's great. She was like, finally, my mom said. <laughs> she was like, that's what we need. And um, to this day, I, I still 
need to need to watch Owl House because I, I yes. saw one spoiler. I saw one spoiler that I was like, no, Twitter, no. <laughs> oh, I know that. I know that fucking feeling. Yeah, when when Pe I'm scrolling people, and all my you friends. wait a week. That is mm -hmm. the grace period. How dare you? Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, but yeah, I mean. Our reactions, I think, are signs. I, I, I that believe we have answered the question ask. as well. Yeah. Give yes. me season two. <laughs> give me. Yes. Give me. But uh, uh, yeah, so let me do a Discord question. Yeah. There are two. Uh, I have been way too many Discord servers. Uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> um, I mean, you explicitly asked on Discord for for easy, smooth questions. So I believe I know, you have a good I... you have a good justification to skip some of them that still go to try to go deep. Yes, I know. Uh, okay, Cosmic Strong Frame asks. Oh yeah. Um, oh, great name. The, the context <laughs> Who is that, that is, I did I did a Sonic Advent. It's Odie. Ah. I did a Sonic Adventure Two stream, and I have a shtick on my oh, gaming streams. For every ten dollars, I do twenty bicep curls with my weights. So, oh. the amount of money people donated, and I'll let you do the math, uh, equated to three hundred and forty curls. I had to, I split them in half and did, you know, half on one side, half on the other. Uh -huh. I still, uh, I still can't extend my arms to full wingspan. Oof. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, it go, this one's, this one's fine. It's just slight pain. But for some reason, my dominant arm is just like, huh. hi, buddy. You, you have to walk like, a, like you're about to give people hugs for the next few days. <laughs> um, you just be like this for a while. Yeah, why did you do that? Why do I do anything? Uh, mm -hmm. But yes, Happy New Year, everyone. What is the close closest object on your desk that most definitely should not be there? Mine's a screwdriver. Wait, no, a welding rod. Thank you, Odie. Okay, what do I have on my desk that probably is not a normal desk item? Everything uh, belongs on my desk. I, I, I might have something. It's my sugar caddy. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's a good one. Um, I have a thing of OxyClean carpet refresher. <laughs> I, I I mean, I I I have honey, which makes complete sense. Uh, Let's I, go. I, 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 oh, see, I, I I have deal with it glasses, and God, do they belong here during that show? Um, I have food, obviously. Uh, I I I have a. Japanese learning self learning book which Denim who actually speaks Japanese told me is absolutely horrendous because it teaches the most it teaches to talk like an old person like an elderly it, it te oh, teaches lovely. like super formal Japanese um, uh, 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 I have a Kickstarter game that I bought which which I have no intention of ever playing, but I like it because it teaches you about uh, uh, okay, fallacies. I think, okay, you get cut off now. Um, <laughs> I have everything on everything. Every I've seen I've seen your desk, dear. We'd be here all day. Everything on the, everything is perfectly fine. All belongs here. I also have like forty uh, Pokemon sleeves, which came in an elite trainer box that I bought over vacation. Uh, this is a very advantageous and, if not, a uh, false advertising number for how many valuable cards you'll probably pull. Oh. <laughs> um, I have a gaming but, controller. I mean, like, it's all, it's all, okay. I gaming have a controller, gaming controller. I a thing that's normalized then now to be at I have a gaming controller. He has a gaming controller. Can you stop? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only three okay, I have on my Twitter desk. Question. Uh, next Twitter question. Next. They come from our good boy and the man of the would you rather question, J Rock. Uh, um, let's kick things off with a would you rather question. Would you rather be forced to listen to the same 10 songs on repeat for the rest of your life or forced to watch the same five movies on repeat for the rest of your life? I have I mean, a feeling. Here's the, thing with that, here's the thing with that question. I already do the stoves bo both of those things. Because if people look at my watch history on YouTube of, of fucking how I watch things, I usually listen to the, like, the same 
seven songs. Most of them are, uh, I can count them all on one hand of ones that I've listened to every day, maybe like three times a day for the past week, which is mm-hmm. Fear and Delight by The Correspondence, the entire soundtrack to Be More Chill, the entire soundtrack to Beetlejuice, the entire soundtrack to Central Park, Ooh. That's a Ratatouille thing, that... the Musical. But I'm afraid it's, <laughs> it's only ten songs that you have to I listen know, to for the rest of I know, but I have my favorite life. song from each of those. Okay, so. fair. But I guess, but the same movies over and over I could do too, because at some point you just tune the movie out and work on shit. And I mean, yeah. noise at some point but, in uh, my life I did watch the same five movies over and over nonstop. So. Same. <laughs> you know what? Having I... a limited collection of VHS tapes when you're a kid really makes you just kind of like, yeah. I will watch... Oh, yeah. I, I, I must mean, have. I'm someone who needs to... That I, have some, I am someone who constantly looks at movie trivia because once you get to know me, you know that I'm insufferable <laughs> and I will point out a million things like no, actors I, and all. I do that too. I do that too. <laughs> so that it too. probably, I probably would pick the music because at some point there's only a finite amount of fun facts with each movie. And when I'm done researching all of them, I'll be like, well, now what's the point? I know yeah. everything about you now. I'm bored. <laughs> so I, so, I would pick the music. So what about you, Katie? K- K- KC, I... KC, that's what I said. <laughs> Definitely. You're fine, honey, you're fine. <laughs> um, I would go with probably watching the same movies over and over mm-hmm. again. Like, I don't already. I I feel like what I do on my YouTube channel is like, listen to music and then sing it. So I feel like if I was stuck with 10 songs in my head that I, I know that I can pull up in my Spotify if I could. Um, I know that I know that my fans would probably be tired of me <laughs> covering and singing the same songs all over again. So I feel like I always have to well, come up with the latest craze and I don't necessarily have to watch the movie. I could just watch or look, listen to the song, and then have no contest in it, and be like, "Okay, yeah, sure. Um, here you go." <laughs> um, but with movies, um, yeah, I, I can definitely watch, for example, <laughs> *Ratatouille* or um, uh, my favorite musicals. I could watch that, and I guess have my little fill with that too. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so so I'm I, I'm basically now the tiebreaker who decides which is the correct answer and therefore dooms the other one to having yes, given the wrong answer. This is how this works. This is that much. Because then it's two mm-hmm. to one. It's mm-hmm. not just my opinion. It's my yeah. opinion combined with one of you two. Um, okay. <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> ah, I'm I, on the one hand. The problem is we have so little connections. Are you glued to a screen for the rest of your life? Do we have a VR headset that you cannot take yeah. off? I mean, then obviously no, the song. No, it's just like when you are consuming entertainment, hmm. if you're watching, if you are like, uh, it's a movie night, you can only watch one of these. If it's a music thing, I mean, unless you want your same music to be your fucking three hour long coding music oh things God. that you listen to while you work, and that be the oh, do they count also, as music? Does it count if the movies are musicals? Because yeah. that way you yeah. break the thing. You yeah, break, you so, break it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. You break but it. But yeah, uh, uh, it's a hard decision. I guess I do like movies too much to get myself limited. To, te- uh, to only five and I'm a philistine when it comes to music so I could probably live with the yeah. same ten songs on repeat but not but ironically not because I love the song so much but because I love the movies more you and feel <laughs> such indifference this man this boy <laughs> only knows the only Beatles songs he knows are the ones that were in the movie yesterday and he only knows the versions that were sung in yesterday He's he oh. to annoy to annoy me sings the version of Hey Jude that's called Hey Dude. <laughs> it's so much better. You have to agree with whatever no, the the, the, the what is the singer? The, what is the singer's just name again? Because it's by the best musician in the world, Ed Sheeran. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
but yeah, okay. So that has okay, been the magical. Answered. Reminded me in the chat that it's not six years. This year will be uh, seven years. Yes, it seven will be. Seven years. Wow. A Aprilish twenty fourteen, I believe. Yep, because it because it, it was only two weeks after my birthday that we met. Oh. So and yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but okay, so let's see. I'm oh, gonna give a quick answer yeah. because I gotta go. Do I gotta walk away again? Um, here's a question from Energized and Enigmatic. Mm -hmm. In the in the frame now, twenty one with twenty twenty one being in the frame now. Let's ask a simple and straightforward question. What do you do to pass the time and entertain yourself? Uh, what I do to entertain myself is pretty much my job, anyway. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, I actually, I can show it. What I do to entertain myself is do storyboarding mm -hmm. because, um, I mean, I want to become a storyboard artist. That's my big studio thing. Mm -hmm. But the, but the part of storyboarding that I love so much is the thumbnailing process. And to do that, I draw scribbles on post-it notes. This pile of post-it notes is actually the, all the, all the frames that I have ideas for, for a storyboard. And I hate drawing the thumbnails on Psy or Flash or whatever, because I feel mm -hmm. like I've been indoctrinated with this feeling that if I'm drawing digitally, I have to make it fully rendered or I feel more rigid and I don't feel as loose. Obviously you do clean up on the computer and all that, but the getting yeah. the idea down is the hardest part. So to pass the time, I just take, I own like 50 piles of sticky notes and I just draw random storyboards I and it doesn't matter if i never make them this is what makes me feel loose and creative like this little pile is a pile of ideas that i have that it makes me feel good so I am it feels good to just be silly eternally screaming mm -hmm. so hard right now yeah. over, <laughs> over this loose pile my ocd my germanness everything well, okay. is just <laughs> Here's the thing, it was stacked correctly, but when I was setting up for my Art Jam stream, they completely fell over like two minutes before I had to go live. So trust me, I don't like this either. I usually have it on the desk that I keep right here to make an L desk in tiny I itemized piles for each shot. And it's usually really neat. Like but shit happened, individual. and I haven't yeah. been able to clean them up. Uh, individual so don't worry. I'm internally screaming, holding it. But the principle is, it is beautiful in its own ugly, ugly way. But yes, <laughs> you guys give yours. I, I, I'm sorry. I'll... Yeah. So yeah, the question was, what do we do to pass our time, right? <laughs> Wait, I lost the question. Where was it? The problem is I cannot check it. I cannot look it up on Twitter as well. Uh, you know, person, activity. Oh, yeah. No. Activity. New Year's thing. What's the closest object? No. Damn it. I believe it was stuff to pass our time. That, that I believe, was a question. So what do you do to pass your time? Ooh, that is a very... Uh, <laughs> it could be anything. I, I pretty much... Um, I, <laughs> I do baking. I like to bake a lot. Um, anything that I can grab off of like a website or anything I see that interests me, I like go hand me and I start baking, um, cooking as well. Um, I like, uh, spending most of my time playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, I scroll through Netflix and I pretty much see what is happening and what is going on and what is on trending and just completely more myself with it. <laughs> um, I pretty much when it comes to singing... I sometimes go into my computer and I hit the record button and I start singing whatever song with the instrumental that comes into my head. And I hope that it sometimes sounds good. Majority of the time, it sometimes doesn't. <laughs> so it kind of goes into my little folder of things I should probably upload but don't upload. Um, and then, yeah, sometimes I, I sleep a lot. Flash. Hmm. Oh no, mouthwash is not fun. <laughs> but yeah, I sleep a lot. It, it burns. Um, yep. Yeah. What, so, what, are we on the next question? No, uh, what, what, what do I do? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Too, imagine playing video games. Yeah, I just want to say far too much video games, uh, uh, for sure. 
Um, besides that, I do actually still get around to do a little bit of drawing. Like I finished my second batch of uh, um, uh, six fan art characters I'm so proud. recently. Ooh. Yay! All the individual characters in big, ver in bigger, separated versions on my TV and art. Yeah, 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 yeah. Self promotion. I mean, uh, you, 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 if one of your hobbies is ranting, I remember you ranting about how bad it is to upload to DeviantArt nowadays. Oh, I mean, I did all s seven because there are two versions of Malina. I did all seven uploads at in one go at i don't know late at night and that was really like i already considered like yeah, in the future i will just upload them once they are done one at a time and then the finished one once i get all together but uh mm -hmm. th this this art drop is, is is not a good idea um but yeah then since since new year's the puzzling is back on the uh, menu um <laughs> well there you go yeah and uh yeah I, I, I guess that's it. Video games, puzzling. All right. Draw, drawing, drawing to, is a good one. Before we get to the next question, I have to call out someone in the chat. Luigi, man, you're wrong and you're drinking wrong juice. <laughs> Owl House is not a ripoff of Little Witch Academy. Oh, First of all, Little Witch God. Academy is a fucking ripoff. <laughs> Loose. Angry. <laughs> Loose is a human from the human world going in. Little Witch Academy. Humans and, and like normal, non magical using humans and witches live in the same fucking world. And also, the reason why the main character in Little Witch can't use magic is because she had her magic stolen from her. Loose hasn't been able to do magic from the get-go and has to learn alternate <laughs> methods because in the world of fucking Owl House, all the witches have like this bile sack that contains their magic juice. You fucking Nimrod! Okay, <laughs> I can't say more because this person gives me money on Patreon, so um... <laughs> It's they a, pay me to insult them. It's a complicated relationship. It is a very complicated relationship. You have to uh, be nice to I them. Mean, I mean, I get to I get to insult truth. Max, and he doesn't even pay me. It's very true. Uh, but, uh, uh, all right. So, tw any more Twitter questions? Uh, no, we we used up the Twitters, so it's all you. All right. Uh, I'll do I'll do two more questions. Um. Eh, okay. Dark Raven asks, Ask Awkward, if real life is getting you down, especially with the current events, and you were offered to live in any... I swear this question gets asked every... <laughs> but you know what? We have a new guest. Uh, and you were offered to live in any video game, TV show, anime, book, or movie, which would you pick? It can be anything. I feel like Darth Raven... Love you, Darth, but I feel like he, he extends the worlds, like the genres you could pick every single time, so it technically counts as a different question. <laughs> it's because we had a running gag for like two and a half years where people would ask us in almost every other show, what is your favorite anime? <laughs> Until the point mm -hmm. that I think we were like, stop, stop asking us this. <laughs> and of course, uh, and of but, course, okay. every October... Hey Max, what's your favorite horror movie? Uh... Or what's your favorite Christmas movie? And then Max has to say, I have not seen many Christmas movies. The don't I usually and just say no? Horror? Isn't it usually always Arthur Christmas? It's always Arthur Christmas for Christmas, and it's always uh, Cabin in the Woods for uh, uh, Halloween. I know, but people have also asked questions of like, uh, like about other Christmas movies, and you kind of sit there like, I haven't seen these. These weren't. Part of my Christmas. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, but okay, let's answer this Isakai question. Hmm. Sorry. Kathy, you are the guest. Why don't you go first? You get to pick any video game, TV show, anime, book, or movie. What would you pick? A world that I could live in if if yes. I was trying to escape the the horrors of um, yes. real life. Yes. Um. Hmm. I think I would probably go with either Harvest Moon or um, Animal Crossing, mainly because Harvest seems... Moon. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard I... someone mention that game in forever. I grew I up love... with Harvest You're Moon. You're playing I Stardew love... Valley. I love Harvest, Harvest Moon, Moon is better. Yeah, Harvest Moon. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, <hot. laughs> when I think of Stardew Valley, I think of Harvest Moon and how addicted I was to that game for when I was young and Animal Crossing as well. I don't know. I like taking mm -hmm. care of people. Um, so, oh, as in an evil, <laughs> but, um, 
I, I feel like whenever I feel sad or whenever I feel down, I feel like I put most of my stress and my anxiety and everything onto like making sure everybody's okay and everybody's like, yay, we're all one big happy family. Um, I, I feel like um, if I think about it in a very logical sense point of view, um, it would be very uh, weird to know what are in the other islands and why am I only stuck in this one island and, and, and um, why am I stuck in this only one village and, um, you know, it, it would be very scary to know what are in other islands. <laughs> um, you constantly have the fear of getting bitten by tarantulas or scorpions. Like, yeah, Every like other I, tree <laughs> has a wasp nest. Like everything's great here in my little village. But what is going on in that other island over there? What is happening? Like, it just feels like paradise. And I don't know. I question things uh, every day. <laughs> Harvest Moon Pretty is much. great. If you, were a, if you were a GameCube person, there were two types of people. The Harvest Moon people or the Animal Crossing New Leaf people. And if you yep. said, I have both, people would get, are like, huh, so you just can't decide. Yeah. <laughs> I can't uh, decide. <laughs> uh, but let's see. What about you, Max? Uh, I I have a I guess newish answer, but uh, oh, maybe boy. the answer is not newish, but the reason behind it is new. At least from I haven't brought it up before. The uh, the My Year Academia world, but for the very specific reason that eighty percent of the population have a quirk, so the probability of me having a quirk is four to uh, one. Uh, four to five, four out of five. So uh, yeah, I probably would have a quirk, and and, and I don't need your, to be a hero or a villain a, or a superpower. Is yeah, terrifying. I, yeah, I mean we now. I mean we have established yeah. before that I would probably not be a protagonist anyways. I would be some kind of background character, and then but in my Hero Academia universe, I still would have a superpower. I would just live my life probably the same as now, but I could. Uh, I don't even have enough uh, imagination to come up with a quirk on the spot, but I would have it. I would still have it and use it casually in my day-to-day -day life. Okay, uh, what would I do? What would I do? Because I have the memory of a fucking walnut when it comes to the questions on these shows. So mm -hmm. every other thing, I am the hard drive of memories. This show, nothing stays. Um... <laughs> Head empty Wii music playing. But let's see, a world I would, you know where I would live in? I'm gonna, I'm going to do an audible and say like, I would live in specifically like uh, the Disneyland like past commercials back in like the 90s and 2000s where it was like, visit Disneyland. Because that world is happy, and I get to be at Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> and it seems like everyone's having a good time, and there's no crying children. So it would be the perfect theme park experience. I mean, Darth yeah. Raven said, any medium, uh, any media is fine to pick to, exactly. to, to yeah. live in. Yeah. So yeah, he didn't specify yeah. that commercial worlds would so not be part of it. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? In those commercials, they always have the pa family staying at one of the Disney hotels, and I've stayed at the Disney hotels. They're fucking nice. So mm -hmm. I get I get room and board. I get nice meals because they always advertise the nicest things, and I get to go on rides. I would love that universe. I'd be fucking baller. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's mine. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I'm going to go into the FMK now because, mm -hmm. like, Denim's question also kind of fit the pastime question of what you do for fun, and... Voices question was about the Super Bowl, which um, I can equate that to that fucking Jax Films video is Super Bowl, Super Bowl, can't we? Because <laughs> I don't care about football. He's from a cut another country, and I don't know if Kathy sports. I, I, I like soccer, but uh, anything else might as well not exist for me. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like soccer and I like baseball. I follow mm -hmm. the World Cup. And I'm all, and I used to play baseball, and I'm from New York. And if you don't like baseball, you get crucified. Mm -hmm. I actually saying. discovered that a lot of my patrons are baseball fans, and we had a very long conversation about the Mets versus the Phillies, and I felt great. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, from Enigma, <clears throat> since we are in 2021, 
Super Bowl. Can't wait to see the quirky commercials and companies <laughs> have come up with this. I can't wait for them to do a meme that's been expired for a year and a half. Oof. Yeah, that's always the thing with Super Bowl commercials. They always include memes that are irrelevant, and you're like, okay. <laughs> There's only one Super Bowl commercial I care about, and it's the one that they do with the puppy and the horse in the Budweiser commercials because the puppy and the horse love each other very much. And then there was the one where the puppy gets lost in the city and he I finds can't. his way home because he misses the horse and I cry because I'm a fucking that. baby. I stand uh, by that. A puppy I horse stand. hybrid. How would it look? No, <laughs> not that kind of You love. said they yeah. love each other very much. <laughs> Artists, they get on it. They're family. Like they're, they're fam family. Familia. They're like the Yeah, like a mommy like... and a daddy. A family. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Gee, I hope we are talking about a tall, a tall dog and a small horse. Otherwise, oh boy, it's a little golden retriever puppy. It's a I little mean, Mustang. I, I, it's a baby. I, I, I mean, you all remember the Red Bull commercial about the Dalmatian lady and the uh, 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 the, the wiener dog uh, daddy. And you look at them and you are wondering, how did the wiener dog do it? To, to produce those babies. The, uh, it makes me think of a line from Clone High when Gandhi's tripping and he sees this hummingbird donkey hybrid and he's like, yo, a, a hummingbird and a donkey doing it? I hope, it's your, I hope your mom wasn't the hummingbird. <laughs> okay. I want Kathy to come on this show again at some point, so we're moving on. Um, to, FM, <laughs> to the FMK question. Good job. She consented to the FMK, not this conversation. I've heard, I, I, believe me, I, I've been in a lot of sticky situations. Oh <laughs> my. Oh my, indeed. You fit too well with this show's <laughs> dynamic, I'm scared. Okay, since we are in 2021, I thought this would be a good time to set the pace for probably how most FMKs might go with Key getting fit and swole. Let's all play, play tribute to our muscles and feeling of strength and power. So without further ado, fuck, Mary kill, strong and hunky. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, Superman, Man of Steel, uh, All Might, the prime form, you know, when he's like, I am here. And Mario? Okay, you I mean, can't say that it's because he's a strong money maker for Nintendo that he's strong. No, I mean, he is that, also physically insanely strong because he can break bricks with his bare fists. There yeah, are many videos about that, it. But... Okay, okay that's true. But still, Son yeah. Goku. Why not Son Goku? But okay, we are stuck with Mario. All of these titans have been used have used their muscles in many ways, so no need to be shy or hesitant. They have more than enough to spare, and their core is tight, is tight and firm. Have a fun workout now. God damn it. <laughs> Please, I hope future employers do not watch this. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not so you Kathy, asking. So, you're our lovely guest. <laughs> Superman, yes. All Might, and Mario. Have fun. It, it's, um... Fuck. Mary right. kill. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, the, the decisions. The decisions in this. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh my. Yum, yum. <laughs> I'm thinking of so many perverse thoughts. <laughs> the one thing I think is just to share before I answer my question. Okay. I'm so sorry. To people who don't no, know this is great. I mean, let, no, this is this let, is fantastic. Let, I'm enjoying this. Let, let's start he, easy. Let's start easy. He, so he brought up oh. he brought up the whole Mario and how he's able to. Oh <laughs> yes, yeah, with a <laughs> fist. I think about one word in particular. I think about fisting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I think about him just like. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> but that's you know that happens. feeling you get. You know the feeling guys get when they see someone get kicked in the balls and they kind of like squunch down a bit, like. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think about um, that. But 
So fuck Mario. Okay, we get it. He's a hunk. I'll, I will admit, in Superman, I don't know. I love, I, I love Superman. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie. I think I, I think I'd marry, I'd marry Superman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be his lowest lane. <laughs> uh, yes. TJ's <laughs> 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 gonna kill me. <laughs> Just because I made that comment before does not influence my choice about Mario, so... No, no, it does not. I'm sorry, I might have to kill Mario. Um, I might have to kill Mario. I'm sorry, DJ, if you're watching this. Um, and I might have to fuck Alt Might, All Might, because... I, I feel like he does the same thing with his punches, except he quotes some sort of, uh, state. <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, that would be quite a finish. <laughs> I here's the thing about All Might. Let's go with another bad thought. You know how oh. All Might can go from the skinny form to the big form. What if he starts with the skinny form and then, while in there, just I am here. <laughs> Do you think it's proportional of how many things it's, expand it's an, in it's, girth? <laughs> it's an interesting method of foreplay that I am. Welcome to, um... <laughs> it's just the thing that he doesn't just get taller, he gets wider, so I'm just imagining, like... Like, I, I think about the Mario on. scenario, I think about the Mario scenario, he's a plumber in pornos, there's plumbers, so let me fix your pipe, Matt. That's, that's a great point, okay. But, but all right. there's so many, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, those are my choices. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Kill Superman. Uh, Max, it's your no, turn. no. Ma Mary, Mary. Oh, so you're just to recap. Your choice is Mary Superman, fuck All Might, kill Mario. Okay. <laughs> fair. Fair. I okay. like magical saying he'll Detroit smash you. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, Max. It's okay. Your turn. Let's see. Um, I am going to kill Superman because it specifically says Man of Steel, which means the the, the uh, Zack Snyder incarnation. And you know what? Fuck it. No. Kill him. I love I love Henry How Cavill. I love him. But yeah. look, think about it. Even Henry Cavill left this role behind and left the DCEU because he didn't want to be this anymore. So, um... Uh, also, Martha! no, kill him, end it, give Superman, give, give, give the next iteration of Superman a chance again. We, we have to kill the Man of Steel version. So, uh, 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 I don't care if it's his nickname, Odie, he, it's specific, yeah, everybody knows who is Superman. So if Enigma writes Superman, Man of Steel, I take I it mean, as also, it's a Superman also, from Man of Steel. Also, Max made a whole video about how his, my his Superman is Superman stupid. And, and is, yeah, so he's already got a vendetta out for him. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. just on brand. <laughs> exactly. So I kill Superman, which also allows me to get uh, uh, to, to to not have to kill uh, a, a childhood favorite of mine and uh, a, a current time beloved character of mine. Where is he? Oh shit! He's still on top of the Christmas tree. Um, uh, we have an All Might, but he has to double. Uh, he has to pull a double shift as a star on our Christmas tree at the moment. Um, yeah, but so uh, so yeah. But but talking about the star of my Christmas tree, All Might, uh, I'm gonna marry him. Uh huh. Uh huh. He gets to stay on my Christmas tree forever now. Uh, why He's do your shining light? Yeah, he, he is. No, but but if you think about it, why why would I want to marry All Might? I mean, he's the greatest hero of all time. He's also he's actually a fun person. From all from those three characters, he's probably the most fun personality if you think about it. Now, Mario is not really known for his humor, just for his competitiveness and whatnot. Superman is just generally like goody two shoes Boy Scout. So obviously, this is not a guy. I could... Come on, everybody who knows me, I could not I, I spend can't, the can't, rest can't, of my I, life I, with I a mean, Boy like, Scout. I wasn't going to pick All Might for marriage anyway because that's the thing about the Prime form is that that is not a permanent form he takes. So mm -hmm. I don't want to get into marriage. No, but apparently it is. And then, and then he goes back to lanky, throwing up blood. Yeah. Form. Yeah, but for yeah. for this question he is uh, it said specifically uh, 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 prime form so uh, it was before his battle with uh, uh, all for one apparently 
Um, yeah, but yeah, I, 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 okay, okay. I'm marrying him either way because. Uh, okay, so why are you fucking the mushroom boy? Why am I fucking? <laughs> excuse me. How do you even have to ask this question? I don't question? like the glasses pulling up thing right before he. <laughs> he has to. <laughs> let me. Let me. Let let it me. Actually. Let me introduce you to the undefeatable concept of the porn mustache. This guy Ooh. has a mustache, Ooh. which, by the way, did not digitally remove, like for Superman. One more reason to kill oh, him. Yeah, this that, this yeah. man has a porn mustache. <laughs> you you do not get to wear this mustache unless you know stuff. And I want to know what he knows, so I gonna can, fuck him. He can also dirty Sanchez the heck out of people, <laughs> I guess. With his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. Screen from Saved by the Bell. He, oh. <laughs> I think of mustache, I think of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, Keyframe, tell us why you want to marry this yes. very character give me, with give, the mustache. Yes, give me, give me, give me one minute. I need to pro. <laughs> It is very seldom that a guest is the one that makes me have to have a processing time. It's Usually true. it's the German, but but <laughs> oh. it's okay. I, I... <laughs> the worst part is I'm imagining it happening to Max and I don't like my active imagination oh, no, right now. I didn't... Oh. Okay. Now, now I'm okay. also not going that ha uh, uh, happy anymore. Going in the vault. Going in the vault, internalizing it later. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so fucking. Um, I'm gonna start with killing because it seems like this is a good way to start. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would have to kill. Okay, you killed Superman. Mm -hmm. She killed Mario. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> all for one, baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, so, you know what? I, 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 uh, fine. You know what? I will kill All Might. And you know why I'm going to kill All Might? Because <laughs> I think that'll be the thing that will push, like, uh, Deku, Deku to the limit. That's the... That's yeah. the end of his super. You know that tragedy is coming with him yeah. saying, "I I am going to become the best." Like that's the whole point of of my hero is that it's basically, re basically retelling without narration Deku's rise mm -hmm. to be the best superhero. You know what the resolution will be. So I'm just going to be an active step in that journey. Will that mean <laughs> I eventually get killed by Deku? Most probably. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. So that's. I can't believe I actually found it a reasonable way. Uh, and then I'm going to marry Mario because you know what? He has one of the most stable franchises of any video game ever. Hey, the and gold digger answer. <laughs> never going away, baby. I always do a gold digger answer. I also Plus, keep in he's mind a personal. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he, he he can punch a wall and money comes out of it. Exactly. Yeah. Plus, he's a that person. He's a person. He's a personal friend of royalty. And he, I mean, like, mm -hmm. if you go by Mario Sunshine, he travels with Peach in that nice custom plane and goes to a tropical island. And and fucking in Mario Odyssey, he gets to travel around the world. I want that. I already want to travel the world, <laughs> and I want to be. And I want to go on a private jet. Cause fuck coach. So <laughs> so there you go. And that means that I'm fucking Superman. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that seems... <laughs> <laughs> why do I... Look, okay, I'm going to find a good reason for this, but, like, why do I imagine Superman is the type to only do missionary? Like, he's that much of a Boy Scout? Uh, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. But then uh, I imagine but... other things, and then my mind... Yeah. <laughs> See, but you know what? You know what? I know that you went with Man of Steel, but I am going to go with uh, classic Superman, Christopher Reeve's mm -hmm. Superman. Mm -hmm. Christopher, yes, because, yes. Because you know what? I, I will get the excitement that if I that of, it's like a the a new a new fucking, and then he could just wipe my memory if the sex was bad. Mm-hmm. Because hmm. yeah. he has, he has, because the Christopher Reeve Superman has memory erasing yes. abilities. Because of course he has. I'll be a happy woman. 
<laughs> yeah, and also, and you know what? If he doesn't do the the mind erasing, he could just turn back time by flying around the world a bunch, and then mm-hmm. it's just a new day. It's it'll be the new night of our first love making, and he'll know he'll know what he did wrong. Yeah, he will have a constant reset save state. <laughs> so you're expecting him to put in all the work to figure you out for one night stand. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could see him do that. It's true. Because, yeah. look, the Superman has that kind of personality. Yeah. That he probably doesn't want... He doesn't want to live with it. Because if I imagine Superman has the pride that he doesn't want the first time to be bad. <laughs> yeah. No, at least... Exactly. Uh, and and he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a giver. So, he's a pleaser. Exactly. He's a pleaser. He's, yeah. So, God, he deserves to die. Uh, and you know what? If he gets tired out during it, he just needs to go into. He just needs to stand in the sunlight and we're back in action. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's all it would take. That's See, all it would take. This year is going to be great and awkward. A and Y and Key say hi to the people in the chat. The memes are seen on this live stream as they talk about random crap. It's time for awkward guests. It's the awkward. It's the awkward. Random guests and funny gags on the awkward guests. It's the awkward. It's the awkward. Artwork and analysis, whoa, whoa, whoa. which you do not want to miss on awkward.